What was the please stop school presentation that you witnessed? In college during abnormal psychology, a student did an entire presentation on Obama's bipolar disorder she kept citing an article from The Onion. I roll our at The Onion. Was in a video film making class in high school. One group of guys did a parody of those Gatorade commercials where the athlete sweat is colored like Gatorade but it was a sweaty guy jerking off. Apparently there was a Gatorade cum shot but the teacher just turned that crap off immediately before it got that far. I never thought I would read the words Gatorade cum shot together with my own two eyes in my entire life, yet here I am. The anti-vax a chick that did a presentation on why vaccines cause autism. Followed up by someone else's presentation on how vaccines do not cause autism. It was a weird day. I bet the guy who went after her felt pretty confident when he walked up. Presentation on World War 2. Student had just discovered all the neat transitions you can use between slides and decided to use a different one each slide. They used the flashing heart transition between a photo slide of a mass grave and a photo slide of Hitler. For 8th grade talent show, two girls sang the Mr. Bledel song Mr. Bledel was a good looking, recently college graduated teacher that basically was about how cute they thought he was. Even then, it was incredibly uncomfortable and I remember looking at the teacher's face and he didn't seem very amused. God I would hate to be that teacher. Opioid awareness, literally a few months ago, started with them blasting the entirety of the disturbed cover of The Sound of Silence, while a slideshow of images containing sad stock photos with the watermark all over, random shots of really dark nighttime photos, and tons of poorly photoshopped drug images trudged on ever so slowly. Then, two women told us the harrowing stories of how their sons died of opioid overdoses. Incredibly emotional. Several people cried. Real downer. Basically. Then, a D agent comes up and tries to act all bad cop. He calls us. An assembly of high school students, grades 9-12. Freaking morons. The principal was not pleased. He is then followed by a nurse who was there to tell us the physical effects of opioid addiction and withdrawals and all that. And she did talk about that. But the whole time she was running around practically screaming jokes and doing crappy over. The top gags trying to be the comic relief. In an opioid assembly, where two women shared the stories of how their children died. What the frick was she doing being that loud and crazy? Everyone came out of the whole thing with a general attitude of yeah frick opioids, but also frick that whole presentation. Once in college I was in my Spanish class and our desks were in a U shape. I was on the very end of the U. So some guy is giving a presentation. He is standing behind a podium. Gets a boner. I'm on the side and no one is opposite so I can see it. Dude just kept going on and on and on. I think he was trying to outlast the boner. He ended up getting it down before he had to sit down. Was like a 10 minutes presentation that only needed to be like 3 minutes yo. Ah. The fear boner. In my high school current events class 2 freshman girls got a little lost in their research about ISIS. They somehow connected this terrorist group to the magic bullet theory used in the assassination of John F. Kennedy. Me and the few other seniors were holding back laughter the entire presentation. Had to look it up apparently there are some fringe groups actually promoting this as a thing what the heck world what the heck. Not a literal presentation really, but we had an assembly in high school where the students that helped plan homecoming would announce the nominations for homecoming court. It always had a cute little theme and like a short skit involved. Well at one point the audio they were using as the cue for the skit failed. They just kind of paused for technical difficulties. But this one girl from the planning committee started singing a random Disney song a cappella while improvising a dance to go along with it. I guess as a distraction from them trying to fix the audio. She kept trying to get people to join in with her. But nobody did. And she eventually just kind of trailed off mid-song and started pouting that nobody would sing with her. Then once they got the audio fixed for the skit she pouted and snapped the way through the rest of her lines. Which made everything even more uncomfortable. The other famous one was when a girl in our class running for student government referenced a hashtag that she was trying to make popular during her campaign speech to the whole school. The hashtag was something catchy about her having a big butt. There was a genuine collective yikes from the crowd when she said it. I don't think she got elected. In high school a student died in a car accident where she was driving. 
There was no record that stated she was distracted by her phone or anything, but the school decided to have an assembly shortly after talking about distracted driving and using her as an example, telling the whole school she'd be alive if she was doing what she was supposed to. That's fricked. Some guy in my class, about 12-13 years old, confused heroic and erotic. The teacher asked if he really read an erotic book and he said yes, as the student watched in disbelief. Took the teacher 30 seconds to catch up the misunderstanding. Mayo the teacher thinking this kid is reading Chuck Tingle books. Not a presentation but during our school assemblies we often had student performers, which were usually musically inclined individuals or theater kids doing a scene monologue. One kid decided to do a stand-up comedy routine about a girl giving him a BJ. So awkward and the principal had to interrupt him. Thank you Kevin, that's enough. In 1984, when I was in 6th grade, each class did the winter concert. The 8th grade football team sang I'm dreaming of a black Christmas in Blackface, Green Bay, Wisconsin, Bayview Middle School. 1985, Green Bay Middle School. Sounds about right. The one where my school got ripped off by paying a guy who claimed to be on Spongebob to come talk to us about drugs. He did look kind of like Tom Kenny I guess. I was also thinking backward about the question. I thought OP meant when did a school have to tell everyone to quit doing something. For me it was banning Pokemon cards in 1998 because toddlers were brawling over that first edition Sherizard. In history class, we all had to do a presentation about some sort of injustice in the world. One kid chose a prison camp for his topic. All his powerpoint slides were photos of men being stripped, chained, whipped, sodomized and forced to give BJ's. We were 13. I studied went to school for computer security. In an introduction to computer security course, we had to do a project on social engineering. A student decided that for his project he was going to find a way to gain access to a chosen website. He found a small local business website, identified that the domain was registered to an email address from a local ISP, called the ISP to reset the password. They asked him for his last four of his SSN. So he hung up. He found the phone number of the business. So called them and pretended to be from the ISP offering 3 months free if the person did a 5 question survey. They accepted. And answered some BS questions. Then he asked for the last four of the guy's SSN. Which they gave no problem. He then called the ISP with the last four. Got them to reset the password of the email account. He then logged into the email and used it to get the domain registrar to send a password reset to the email, which he used to reset the password of the domain account, and deleted the email. He recorded all phone calls and screenshotted the whole process. As he presented all these we kept expecting him to say but that would be illegal, so I didn't do X. But he went all the way. The professor finally stopped him after he said he logged into the domain registrar and told him to destroy everything and never speak of it again. I think the professor was a bit nicer than he could have been. Potentially to the point of accomplice. Telling him to destroy evidence. Whoa. Nothing like committing digital crimes to pass a class. This was a Spanish class in college, and I think the assignment was something like talk about your best friend or some such. Just kind of a softball assignment so you could practice using the vocabulary. And one classmate's friend was evidently a friend with benefits. Not at school, but when I was in high school my church youth group went to this church camp. For those uninitiated Thursday nights are normally the really emotional nights. Well this camp was different. Thursday night the guy that started the camp comes on stage and begins giving a bunch of middle school and high school boys and girls the sex talk. All I remember from that night was the quote, just because there's a hole there doesn't mean you have to stick something in it. But then the boat will sink. An anti-bullying campaign. They spent most of the presentation explaining different types and ways to bully Harris people. Bullying increased in school and everything got 10 times worse now that the students were more educated on the subject. Compared to some other stories in here this is minor, but it was a group project for one of my literature classes. There were 5 people in this group. According to the rubric for this assignment, everyone was supposed to have equal speaking parts. One of the members in this group would just not stop talking. Half of their presentation was just her talking, 
and she went on about each of her slides for like 5 minutes. The rest of her group members had like 1 or 2 slides each, and she had if I recall correctly 5 or 6. She would also interject into the other group members parts to add her opinions. The look on my professor's face screamed just shut up already every time she talked. Oh man. This could have been me in high school or college. I was such a know-it-all and talked while I too much. I cringe so hard when I think about it. During nursing school a guy decided to use my little pony figures as props to a seminar room of about 100 people. He told the class that he would refer to himself as his pony name for the duration. Don't remember what it was. Also, not that this is relevant but he wore a black leather trench coat and it was pretty hot in the room yet he never took it off. Cringe. My sophomore year we had to make a presentation about any person that made an impact on the world that was inspirational. Someone chose Hitler. A kid did something similar at my middle school. We had to make posters about someone who inspired us and he picked Hitler. His justification was all the stuff he invented. Later got removed from the school and we had an assembly while he was gone where they explained he had autism. Environmental science. For our final project in the class we were allowed to talk about. Dude decides to do his project on global cooling. Buddy was up there for 7 minutes explaining to the class how the earth has been getting colder and colder. And how it's eventually going to cause problems to other species. Teacher was really passionate about this class and you could set her squirming in her seat the whole way through the presentation. Whole thing was a big WTF. His sources were online forums. Hey, props to them for getting the climate change part right. This was my presentation. And it was about the science behind how Mountain Dew can dissolve a mouse. This was in 4th grade. Needless to say I got some parent complaints. Every year someone did the coke and bones experiment at my school. Every year it won an award. In speech 101 in college we had to pick a children's book and voice act each character. That was it. That was the entire assignment. Well, one student decided to take it to the next level. He chose a Berenstain Bear book and decided to not only do voice acting for every single one of the characters, but also act it out. It was physically uncomfortable to watch this guy scramble around the room and pretend to be bears and other animals. It was not well done. It was awful. That sounds hilarious. In fourth year university we had a year long seminar course of 15ish students. Our big end of year project was to give a 3 hour lecture on one of the historical figures we'd studied. One guy got up there and was so nervous he blasted through his content in less than an hour. Without hardly taking a breath. Nobody could understand him. The prof didn't step in to tell him to slow down. And he was sweating so profusely his shirt was soaked through. I felt really bad for him. But oh god. A teacher asked up to compare the cells in our body to anything we can think of. Obviously some students compared the parts of a human cell to schools, jails, libraries, normal things right? Well this one student that sits next to me had a different idea. These were group projects keep in mind. This girl managed to strong arm her group to compare the human cell to the infamous webcomic Homestuck. She did this successfully. Not only did I feel dirty but her group felt worse for having their names on it. Oh god this sounds like something I would do in 6th grade. I had a friend who deliberately wrote moral of the story instead of moral on a presentation and I have never forgiven him since. My junior year in French class. This one girl did not know French at all. Despite taking the class for 4 years. She was pretty open about it too laughing and saying how she didn't need this class in the middle of the presentation. The teacher asked her to sit. This one girl did not know French at all. Despite taking the class for 4 years. This is surprisingly common in foreign language classes. This was in freaking college. Our bio finals were to present on any topic that was related to biology. A group was presenting on types of protection for sex. Not once did they refer to any body parts or fluids by their scientific names. So, yes, they literally had dong, cm, and p on slides and read off them. Everyone kept glancing over at our professor, who had this look like he was just constantly cleaning his glasses because he couldn't believe what he was witnessing. They got Kentucky fricked on grading. I googled Kentucky fricked but it just delivered p results. It's me. I did this. 
I cringe about it to this day. Nearly 20 years later, I was 16 and in high school. My high school was going to do a spring talent show. I wanted to be in the talent show and show off my talents. The problem was, my actual talents are not ones that I could show off at a talent show. So I decided to try singing. I have never sung in my life. I have never had voice lessons. I was in my prime weeb stage and chose an anime song to sing. I didn't know any actual Japanese. I had just memorized the lyrics from hearing the song so many times. Luckily I didn't make it past auditions, but several people saw an overweight girl in a Sailor Moon shirt try to sing Butterfly despite having never done any singing or voice training ever in her life. Nearly 20 years later, and remembering it keeps me awake at night. A girl in my school danced to Hatsune Miku for a presentation. I cringed, but I admired her balls to do something like that. I never did this, but my dream was to include a slide of a bear running toward us and then me yelling oh no. A bear and then quickly going to the next slide, saying whoa, that was close and then going on like nothing happened. I have a feeling I would have ended up in this thread. I feel like this has a 65 stroke 35 chance of being either cringy or pretty funny. I was a teacher's aide at my son's school, and I sat in on his class one day as a first grader did show and tell. She held up a book and said, this is my diary. Half the class looked confused, the rest looked intrigued. She continued to mix up diary with diarrhea for several more sentences as the teacher and I were silently crying with hysteria. If just one kid had laughed, we would have jumped in, but everyone listened with respect and applauded at the end, so we moved on. In my world cultures class in middle school we had to take a different country and compare it to America. A kid proceeded to pick the United States and even converted the currency, and on his slide said 1 US dollar equals a dollar. The teacher made him stop but I kinda wish I saw the rest. Hum, the floor here is made out of floor. I was doing work experience with a bunch of special needs kids at a school. We were watching a play that I don't remember the name of, which was about someone who was in a gang or something and got HIV. Instead of having any action or dialogue, the story was told through characters standing out the front and telling the story to the audience. It was dull as heck. The special needs kids were getting so restless, and I couldn't blame them, because it was terrible. Us, we were to make a film retelling the story of Hamlet. It was supposed to be 5 minutes. Being the creative nutcases we were, we made a 22 minute film complete with a commercial break which made fun of prior books we had to read. Ophelia was a Jersey Shore W who refused to take her Prozac. Polonius was a perverted Greek philosopher, and Hamlet was a depressed emo. Sword fights were video game based, with Mortal Kombat themes. We presented it to the class and were cut off after 5 minutes. We received an A. This sounds like my group. We had to do a project on Romeo and Juliet, so we submitted a half hour film that we created. It was titled CSI, Verona, so you can probably imagine what occurred. Someone gave a speech about Durian in a class once. She brought a small frozen sample that thawed as the class went on. The professor let students step out the room. Coincidentally, one of the culinary classes reported a gas leak and pulled the fire alarm. I didn't think durians gave off that particular mercaptan. That being said, warm durian does smell pretty wretched, and if you haven't smelled natural gas and a durian, I could see how they could be swapped. Natural gas? Well, the mercaptan added to it, has a more acrid smell than durians. We had this senior talent show that a few male students could sign up for, no idea why it was only guys, or how the few people even got nominated for it. And they all had to do their own act. Some sang. Some danced. Some put on a funny skit. Possibilities were endless. Well, each year someone who never got told they weren't good at singing would end up on stage. One time this guy did the evolution of boy band songs and it was just below average singing for, no joke, 15 minutes straight. Bonus skit that I'm glad didn't stop because it was hilarious. One guy did a wrestling skit with different movie characters and my friend was the announcer. When Indiana Jones got into the ring my friend announced it's the BDSM bad boy himself and somehow that slipped by all the school staff members and made it into the DVDs the school sold. Another friend of mine sang Disney princess songs while wearing a sonic hat and got second place and at least 3 girls gave him their number. 
If you can sing Disney princess songs while wearing a Sonic hat while being confident, you better believe the girls are gonna swoon. When I was a 9th grade student, we had to present the poems we made in English class. Most people wrote about embracing their culture, loving their friends, etc. And then there was that one kid who recited a lifestyle poem which compared fat people to beached whales and said that people who don't work out will die before they're 20. High school junior English class. An easy 6 stroke 7 years ago so details are fuzzy but, we had weeks to prepare a presentation alongside an informative essay that we wrote. Weeks. Of in class time like, 3-4 weeks of full 5 day, 50 minute classes for this essay, presentation, and the actual presenting. This kid in the class decided to write about the problems of procrastination. For the essay, it was a few sentences, something like, I procrastinated and this was the result, nothing done, etc, the presentation, a few slides, all white with the default texts and sizes and it was something along the same lines of, I have nothing prepared because my topic is procrastination, the teacher was disturbingly unimpressed and the kid threw such a fit about falling this major project, seriously, it was a hefty portion of the class, that he transferred out of the class, he pulled a gamble and lost so hard, Probably thought he was being witty or some such. Student gave a presentation on the need to strap laser beams to deer heads that trigger sonic waves so that the deer are detracted from crossing highways. Context. I wasn't the grading teacher, but I was asked to supervise the teacher. Theme was supposed to be on how to solve a problem youth is facing. X. How to be a solutionary. Student was in 10th grade. This was a roller coaster read. I've told this under a dit a few times but it's truly unforgettable. Smart kid in the class was giving a deeply source powerpoint presentation on religion in Europe. He opens up his files, proceeds to click on his project named Enga. He says clearly I wasn't really paying any attention when I named my file. He gives a presentation. He stutters and sweats bullets while we watch in utter disbelief. The word is sitting there on the top of the file heading the whole time. This was during a study abroad semester while attending a cultural communication class. He had to rot in his own crap after that. One time my friend had to go to his crap I don't care about folder to open a project in front of the whole class and teacher. In sophomore year of high school, we had to do a presentation on a story memory of ours and bring something in to show the class. A guy did it on his addiction to pee and played Christian Rock for us. It was awkward. I was in a Japanese film class for a credit I needed and the final project was some open ended paper where you got to choose the topic and our Japanese born teacher told us some story about a creepy neckbird who did his on Japanese pee and how no one should do anything like that. Anyways on the day it was due the creepiest neckbird stereotype I've ever seen, who was in my class, presented his long butt cringe presentation on Japanese pee in the class that no one wanted to hear. Already knowing the teacher has seen this crap before and wasn't about it at all. Sophomore year of high school we were tasked with a bringing in an object from home and giving a presentation on how why the object explains you as a person. Kid brought in a knife, not a big one, but a knife nonetheless. He actually gave a decent presentation, but ended getting expelled because of it later that day. We were supposed to have Arnold Schwarzenegger come to our school sometime around 1999 or 2000. Principal was hyping it up for weeks, then about 4 days before his arrival it was announced on Friday that he wasn't coming. Fast forward to Monday during morning announcements it's announced he's changed his mind and is coming to our school tomorrow as planned. Come Tuesday morning everyone is excited, we're all amped to meet the Terminator. A handful of parents even came with VHS copies of his movies. Posters, act. We're all going to our gym auditorium, taking our seats. Principal takes the stage takes the moment to make some announcements. Award on a roll. Perfect attendance, act. Finally she starts hyping up around Schwarzenegger. Everyone is excited and on edge, when she basically says his arnie and. It's the vice principal in a leather jacket holding a shotgun, not a toy one either, and spends 30-40 minutes trying to hype us up for FC80 all the while doing the absolute worst impression of Arnold Schwarzenegger I've ever heard. Once we realized Arnold wasn't there people start shouting, screaming at the principals for lying to us, along with some of the parents who came to this. 
I do hope someone has footage of this meltdown of a bunch of K5 kids shouting and screaming at the principals because Arnold Schwarzenegger didn't come to our school. Because I clearly remember 2-3 people having camcorders. If you are new to the channel, you can subscribe. I publish new videos every day. Until then, check another video. Bye for now.